Hello all, thank you for coming and welcome to all those geeks, nerds, and people, gamers, and whatever else, you know. Today let's talk about the Xbox X reveal, dear God, you know, I haven't played Xbox for a while. I left Xbox because the second time I bought an Xbox, the 360 or Xbox One, I can't remember what it was. Uh, but... Yeah, it, 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 it got the ring, ring, red ring of death. After the second time a console did that, I was fucking done. I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm just going to sell it. I'm going to sell my games. I'm going to pick up a PlayStation. So I picked up a PlayStation, and I had almost no problems for, oh, fuck. It's a few years, actually. And then it finally started dying. So I got me the PS4 Pro, and I've had no problems with it really since. And that was two years ago when I picked that up. So it's been it's been a while. But right now I'm not happy with what Sony's been doing at all. Especially this whole Naughty Dog thing. They, they really pissed off a huge amount of their fan base. But yeah, the, the, the Xbox X looks decent. Don't get me wrong. That has it's supposed to be more powerful than the PlayStation 5. The PlayStation 5, play Sony is really far behind. They've already announced like the specs, they've already announced what it looks like, they've already announced um, some of the games, I guess, kinda today. <laughs> they announced a bunch of third party games. And a couple ones that people will recognize, like Madden, fucking nobody if you like casino games with a little bit of football, congratulations! Go get Madden. <laughs> yeah, I don't fucking, I don't play those games ever. I hate sport games. Go play the sport, that's me. Um, but, no, I just... I can't even remember any of the games, really. Well, they had that uh, Blood... Bloodline 2, something like that. I was like, nah, I didn't play the first one. And it looked kind of dumb. They had like some kind of little skit where the people are like dancing and doing their thing. And it looked like a. At first, everybody thought it was a. Um, what do you call that? A uh, serial killer game where you play the serial killer. Then it turned out, no, it's a bunch of vampires. And I was like, okay. Still dumb. And then. I didn't like the graphics of that. Plus, though, it was kind of cheesy. They did like you know classical music, and the guy was like doing their like finger dancing, and it was it was I don't know. Didn't like it. And okay, so um, Scourge. That one looked kind of creepy, but some of the shit they had on that trailer was like, is that a is that, is that a dick? <laughs> like, thing pops out of this machine and like squirts something, and then like falls back in. And I was like. I look like a machine evil penis. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is that thing? And it looked like this dead alien pregnant thing. And I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Show some gameplay at least. Let's see the gameplay and see if it looks cool. No. No gameplay. Almost 90% of the games had no gameplay. Like one of the car games did. Dirt 5, I think it's called. Had a little bit of gameplay. But... This is supposed to be your next gen console like release. This is supposed to be the big boy. You're, you know, you're supposed to have like your Halos and your. And so, like, it, when, first, when it first started, people were liking it. Some of the games, graphically, a lot of the games, some of the games look cool. They like this, like, anime game with like these weird flower zombie things. And I was like, ugh, flower zombies, of course. But yeah, yeah, I just didn't care. You know, Xbox will have to really sell me if I if they want me to come back. They want a lot of gamers to come back to them because they failed the last console war because they just didn't have the games. They think the console is important. The consoles are good, but if you don't have good games, you're gonna fucking lose every time. And they just didn't show anything. They 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 tease like this big gameplay tr you know thing. Like they're like, hey, we're gonna have gameplay and all of a sudden they had like almost none. And it, and ooh, especially Assassin's Creed, Valhalla. 
I'm excited for that game, and I and they said announced that you know this is the you know world premiere that they're going to show gameplay. I was like, yeah, let's see what this game looks like and how it plays, and and then it was just another in-game trailer of cutscenes taped together, and it's like, damn it, this is not what people want to see. No, no gamer wants to see cutscenes. Like it's cool because it kind of gets you hyped for the game a little bit. But you need gameplay. You need to taper it with gameplay. You need to be like, cool cutscene. And you're like, ooh, that looks interesting. And then gameplay right after. So that the people were like, oh, so that's what it's like. They had like one. They actually had gameplay in it. I can't remember the name of it. But it was like, it looked like a cyberpunk kind of universe. It was like these ships flying around, these weird little alien things. And then it turned into be like a weird Diablo shooter style like you're over your you know you're, you're hovering from above and I was like man nah you know I like Diablo but it's like the only game I like that's like that and I just no I have no intention no I'm like eh let's skip that one <laughs> uh I don't know I don't really have any interest right now in getting a new system in the first place or it would cost like freaking eight hundred bucks straight up that's freaking nuts it's gonna be expensive the last ones were expensive i thought six hundred dollars was crazy but this next gen there's no way it's gonna be six hundred dollars there's gotta be like way higher they're like mini computers that's what it looks like it looks like an actual computer so i don't know anyways you know that's what i want to talk about today um but yeah you know just keep on fighting, keep on staying safe and staying healthy. Uh, hopefully people are getting back to work soon and we all can move on from this cheese time and get back to heaven, get life back to normal. But hey, fuck Naughty Dog, fuck Sony. Unless they come out and apologize to the fans and they're like, you know what, we allowed a third company to take reign and they abused their power and they did things that they didn't understand they couldn't strike we told we took them down we made them release it and we won't use that third party company ever again you do that sony you might win some faith back night dog you're fucked you're done as long as neil cockman is still allowed to fuck up your games you're done you know, he listened to the worst bitch on fucking in gaming community and congratulations. I don't know, man. I just wasn't that great. I was hoping for more. You know, I did play the last Halo. I remember when they were teasing that. I think it was the last one. Was it the last one they had like the Master Chief versus the other dude and they kept teasing it like it was going to fight each other and you pick which one you wanted to play as? And it turned out, nope, no, nope, they're actually going to be helping each other, and yeah, I was like, well, that's dumb. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So, enjoy. We'll talk to you later. All right, bye.